Vladimir Putin has renewed his vice-like grip on power, seizing a fourth term as Russia's president. There was no meaningful opposition, and there were widespread accusations of ballot stuffing, but that didn't stop the celebrations outside the Kremlin, and that is where we find Chris Brown. Well, this was an election evening with virtually no drama and no suspense. It unfolded practically as the Kremlin's playbook wanted it to. Vladimir Putin won convincingly. These people are on their way to Putin's victory party. We're just in the large square, uh, not far from the Kremlin, with the Bolshoi Theater in the background. It comes after a day of voting where organizers pushed hard to get that vote out practically any way possible. Vladimir Putin voted early today, as did the also-rans in Russia's election, such as Communist Party leader Pavel Gundinin and reality TV star Ksenia Sobchak. But opposition monitors say there was blatant evidence the fix was in for Putin. Many voting stations in Russia actually have live cameras that caught the apparent fraud. In this example from Moscow and confirmed by the local election committee, a woman appears to stick ballot after ballot into the box. At another spot in Russia's Far East, a man appears to do the same thing. Social media was full of examples. Opposition leader Alexei Navalny, who's banned by the Kremlin from challenging Putin, posted what his staff said was a pile of legal ballots with Putin's name already ticked off. Someone found them in a garbage can. Election monitors tried to keep it a fair fight. One of them, who was watching voting in Dagestan, got punched in the face after he started filming inside the voting station. Russia's Central Election Committee disagrees. It says it has no problem with the vote. It hasn't received any official complaints from any candidates. And certainly, those here tonight aren't bothered about it either. This woman told us she couldn't be happier with the outcome, that she would keep voting for Putin as long as he will go. There was one surprising development after the polls closed, and it was live streamed on the internet. Alexei Navalny and Ksenia Sobchak, the two opposition candidates, attacked each other, with Navalny accusing Sobchak of accepting money from the Kremlin and trying to steal away his supporters. The whole exchange underscores just how divided Russia's opposition against Vladimir Putin is. Chris Brown, CBC News, Moscow.